Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this brand new Android Firebase tutorial and today in this video I will show you that how to retrieve multiple data from the Firebase console into our Android app. So let's go to the Android studio. So in the last video we discussed about retrieving a single data into this text view from the Firebase console. So today we have multiple data which cannot be retrieved into a single text view. So for that what we are gonna do is that we can we have different kind of choices like using a list view or using a recycler view or using some other kind of that can hold multiple data. So in this video we are going to replace this text view with a list view. So list view is far better and a lot more easier than the recycle of view so I'm just adding a list view okay so now we have the list view inside this and what we're gonna do next is that we have to simply specify your ID okay now I have the ID just going to the main activity and just adding the reference so list view alt ender casting it now we have already discussed about the list view inside the Android app development tutorial series and just in case if you miss it that then you can click over here and uh, this card and learn the basics of this list view and using an adapter. So in the Android development tutorial series we discussed about using this list view and uh, adding the array list and the things like that. So I'm just going to create an array list with the type as string then giving a name like my array list then equal to new array list okay now we have the array list next thing is that maybe we can just give the list view over here much better okay now firebase then my firebase Okay, so I'm now I'm just going to add the context for the Firebase. So Firebase, then set Android context. This is going to be this, and then my Firebase, then uh, equal to new Firebase. Then giving the project ID. Okay, now we have the project ID. Just copying that, going back, pasting here. Okay, so the next thing is that we have to create a array adapter for the array list. So array adapter then type a string so we actually discussed about the array adapter and the array list in the android development tutorial series so just in case if you miss it then you can watch that just by clicking the card seen on the right top corner of this video so now array adapter then equal to new array adapter and now we have the android Quandex, which is going to be this then the stock android uh, list view style so that is android r dot then layout dot symbol list view item now finally we have to add the string that is going to be my array list and closing that so in the last video we discussed about using the add value event listener so in this video we are going to use this one which is a typically a much more complicated one which is the add child event listener then using that then child event listener so right now we have uh, one two three five methods so in the last video we only have two methods and right now we have the one child adder then change it remote moved and cancelled so the next thing is that we have to get the data once the child is added so same as from the last video we have to just create a string with the name my values or my child values then uh, data snapshot then get value and inside that we have to add the type then class okay so we discussed about this in the previous video and i hope you guys know that so now we have to type my array list then add that is going to be my child values then my array adapter notify data set changer so this method will check whether the data has been changed and this is going to get the data into this array list which is going to present inside the list view so one, we have one more thing to do that is going to be my list view then set adapter then my array adapter so we have to move this line just above this 
okay, now we will be getting this array adapter so adapter now we have to copy this method and paste it inside here because we have to change the data whenever it is changed so pretty sure there will be a lot of errors because we haven't used all the things in the proper way but of course we will be finding the result when we are running this so now let's go and give it a try inside our android emulator which is the droid kitty so it's initializing yeah now here is the droid kitty just click on the ok ok now we have the emulator just closing or uh, we actually want to minimize the android studio and just going to the browser then minimizing it just moving the emulator into a side ok guys so we have the android app and it's up and running so as you can see we have nothing as a data or a list view so and that's only because we haven't added anything so actually we have given the root as the project id for this list view so we have to add every single thing and every single child inside the root of this android project so just clicking on the plus and giving the name something like one with the value something like uh, hello then clicking on the add you see we have a new list view item so now i'm going to add the second one that is two then that is going to be youtube and clicking on the add instantly it added the youtube and now i'm going to add the third one three or uh, you can give anything as you wish the value and the key so ice cream with the value tasty we have the tasty so the problem is that when we just try to remove this hello you see i just going to delete that and now it's deleted from here but even though it is still there inside the android app and it will be removed once we just close the app and uh, reopen that you can see now it's removed so we have to fix some of the issues with this app then backend firebase adding so it's created the firebase so as i said we have some of the issues so we, in the next video we are going to learn about how to optimize firebase codes inside the activity from the android studio so stay tuned and uh, i hope this video was helpful and if so then give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out